Welcome back to another video, Chocolatiers. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering Axel F, or as we like to call it here in the streets, Beverly Hills Cop 4. Uh, now, Beverly Hills Cop 4, Axel F, or Beverly Hills Cop, Axel F, whatever you want to call it, uh, is the fourth entry point into the Beverly Hills Cops films. Now, I was sleeping under a rock, which I do know it was before my time. I've never seen the Beverly Hills Cops movies, but I did watch them the other day. Um, I remember when it came out on 4K, I was going to buy them, and I was very excited. Uh, I, I think I had the first one ordered at Best Buy, or no, I was about to order it. And just for, something came up, something happened, I was just kind of like, am I going to watch these? I never got them. And I really hate that. Because, boy, I was missing out. So, Paramount Plus and Netflix have the Beverly Hills Cops movies, but Netflix, just like everybody else, wants to act like the third one doesn't exist. I actually liked that film. I watched uh, I watched them all on Paramount because I was like, I want to watch three. And they're solid, they're solid films. Uh, Eddie Murphy's a lot of fun. The cast, crew, a lot of fun. Uh, it's just kind of like a silly cop movie kind of like a jump street without all necessarily being so vulgar um but i don't know like i just i just really was vibing with those movies when i watched them the other day so i got excited because up next was the new one that came out last week and so here we are what's going on in the new one so this movie takes place 40 years later because it's been you know damn near 40 years since the original and Basically, you have uh, my boy Eddie Murphy um, coming into town because of what reason exactly? You tell me. Shit goes down in the intro, and it's awesome. Um, and it's kind of like leads him down a rabbit hole. I'm starting to see kind of some similar plot points to some of the, to some of the other films, um, but it's not negative necessarily because everybody else that watched those movies back in the day. This is fairly new and fresh to them. I just watched one, two, and three like literally the same day as four, um, and so they were fresher in my mind. Um, but I'm not gonna knock at points for that. Though. I think, I think, hey, familiarity is a good thing. Okay. Um, now, do I think this movie's better than the originals? And by originals, I want to say pretty much just the first one. Um, I, I don't. I've never made like a rank list for these movies like the other day when I was thinking about it. Uh, I didn't hate any of them. I know a lot of people going into this one, they were like, yeah, thank God this one's good because the fourth, the, the third one sucked. And I was like, oh, damn. I was like, third one's going to be awful then. And I liked it. Um, I had a lot of fun. Yeah, there's definitely some extra goofiness, but you, I mean, that's how every sequel is. They want to go bigger and go crazier, and they do uh, with certain scenes. But I mean, outside of that, I feel like it matched a nice vibe with Beverly Hills Cop 1 and 2. And so in this one, you have uh, Tagger and you have, I always forget the other guy's name, but you have uh, both of them returning from the original. Um, Tagger wasn't in the third one, so I was, I was happy to see this. Um, I love him to death. So you've got them. You've got Joseph Gordon-Levitt in this film. I did not know he was up in it. And I didn't know Kevin Bacon was up in it. Kevin Bacon was a surprise. I saw that in the intro and I said, Mr. Bacon just saw him in Maxine. And he was my favorite part in that Maxine. He's not my favorite part in this movie. He's such a throwaway villain. Good God. Um, but <laughs> I, I just want to say that this movie's good. If you like 1, 2, and 3, if you like 1 and 2 and you want to be snobby and hate the third one, you're still going to like this one. This one's got a lot of nostalgia going into it. Uh, it's got a lot of action scenes. Uh, it, like the beginning action scene reminds me of the beginning action scene of the third film. Uh, which I think is funny because a lot of people hated that one apparently. Um, and, you know, I was loving it. It was like nostalgia even though I'd watched them for the first time that same day. I was sitting there like, oh, I get that reference. Mm, I like that. Um, now, I want to get into some of my negatives though because I do not think this film is perfect by any means uh, like most movies. But I just, his daughter character wasn't doing it for me. That whole storyline, I hate it whenever... Uh, movies do this, especially whenever something's been gone a while. I think the last movie came out in 95, 97, something like that. And so it's been a while, okay? Like 25, 26, 27 years, whatever many. It's been a while, okay? And I don't know. Like, I just... It's just one of those things where, you know, 
they they love doing that and i don't know why hollywood does that you know they can't just have these old characters just doing old stuff they're like actually there's a new there's a new group on the on the scene and so like joseph gordon levitt's like a newer cop um i don't think they're setting up for anything though like some of these older franchises do so that is good um but you know it's one of those things where his daughter they they do something i don't like so i'm going to tell you it's, it's light spoilers but it's not spoilers like that. It's Beverly Hills Cop. So, like, you know, this is this is me trying to dig deep, talk about the plot. Who really gives a shit? We're just trying to see Eddie Murphy be funny and do goofy shit. That's really all we're worried about. Um, but he's basically estranged from his daughter. And they get into reasons why I'm not going to get into that. Um, but for me, it was just kind of off character um, for Eddie Murphy's character. Like, it was just kind of it was just kind of off. Like, like Axel Foley... You know, he can be an asshole prick, but he's always, like, the man of the people. Like, he's always trying to do what's right, like in the original one. His friend died. He's out there trying to get justice for him. I just feel like if he had a child one day, I just feel like he's not going to be like, hey, fuck you. Like, you know, like, I, like, I didn't buy that uh, to me. And I also, um, I didn't really buy the dynamic between between them. I think it's something with the side characters in this film. I just, like, like, because, for example, in the third one, uh, there's this new black girl. Uh, that's like working out of the theme park that they're doing or whatever and they kind of set up a relationship with them which by the way I might have missed it or something I don't think they ever said who his wife was I don't know if that was supposed to be who it was uh, eventually but even like that I hate it when movies like make your characters like pieces of shit that are good characters so like even like that he's divorced and I was like wow I said he really just has a sucky life he's divorced his child doesn't like him I said Jesus Christ like I love you Axel I'm sorry um and so it was just some story elements like that I didn't buy. Um, you know, even like the villain of the movie didn't really... I mean, it's not necessarily buying at that point, but it's just more like predictable, you know. Um, I think most of the Beverly Hills Cops movies, like villains, are predictable. But this one just kind of was lame. I feel like this one was just kind of like, we're making this movie, we need to put a villain in it. There we go. Um, but that was pretty much the only complaint, so it's very minimal. Because you're not there for the villain. You're not there for the side characters, you know. Um, you're there for Axel Foley, Eddie Murphy. And I think that him, I think that his little supporting characters from the original films, uh, I think that they're all great. Um, this movie is a little light on the comedy. It is funny like the other ones, but I feel like this one is probably the least funny as far as like getting a reaction out of me, like me laughing out loud. Um, you're not going to have a scene like in the uh, second one where his... Um, uh, uh, what is it? Where his sergeant's like, he's like, you better get back here. You see, making my dick itch. You ain't gonna get nothing like that. Okay, you ain't gonna get comedy like that. It's funny as hell. Still, this one is like, there's some funny ass scenes. I'm gonna lie, there's some funny shit. Um, but you're not gonna get to that level. And uh, with that, yeah, uh, I hope that you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe for more. And comment down below. Let me know what your favorite Beverly Hills Cop film is. And with that, I'll catch you guys on the next one. I love my popcorn. <laughs> Movies, popcorn. <laughs>